Hello Leo and welcome to your reading for May 2023. I'd like to say thank you to everybody who has subscribed to my channel and I'm going to put a link in the description box below to my sister's YouTube channel Anything Spiritual. So when you've watched your reading with me do go click on the link with my sister and watch your reading with her as well. And don't forget to subscribe to my sister as well. It's totally free to subscribe and it helps you to not miss any future videos that we release. Okay, Leo, let's see what's in store for you for May. Well, it looks like here we're going to have a bit of a difficult month. You've got the three of swords here, Leo. So it feels like there could be some kind of betrayal, some kind of hurt. I know that you can see the three swords there going through the heart. But when I looked at that card, what really came to my intuition was the feeling of being stabbed in the back like somebody doing the dirty on you, somebody going behind your back, somebody betraying you. And that is the feeling that I'm getting when I look at that card is a betrayal. So I'm going to lay another card over that. And we've got the two of wands. And you can see that man there with the world in his hand standing there looking forward so the feeling that i'm getting is you thought this person was your world you thought that this person was somebody you could rely on and somebody you could trust and you could see this person being in your life for a long long time whether this is a, a romantic relationship or whether this is a really good friend or family member who you thought had your back, you thought you could trust them, you thought you could rely on them and you thought that they would always be in your future, in your life. And it's like a realisation this month that this person doesn't have your best interests at heart. They've not got your back covered like you've got their back covered and you're going to have to make a very very big decision are you going to forgive this person or are you going to walk away and this has got to be your decision leo because it really feels like they have betrayed you and i really think for the rest of may i think you're going to struggle to make that decision whether you can forgive them or not, because at the moment you just don't know which way to go. And it's got to be your decision, Leo. Don't let anybody try and force you into making a decision that you're not comfortable with or try to sway your mind either way. This has to come from you. Can you trust this person again or not? And that is a decision that you really, really have to make. And again, here with the Queen of Cups, you're sitting on your throne. You've got your cup. That is your emotions, your heart, your love, and you're holding it. And it's you. You've got to be the ruler of your kingdom. It's up to you, Leo, who you give your emotions to. And you've got the water here, which again, you've got water here as well and in this one. And, and water can represent that changing of emotions. When you think of the waves coming up and crashing down, and that's how I feel that May is very much for you, Leo, like ups and downs, emotional highs, emotional lows, good days, bad days really mixed emotions and you don't know if you're coming or going but you are the only one who's in control of your emotions leo 
and you've got the Knight of Swords here. So there's definitely some kind of message or some kind of information that's going to come rushing to you this month. It might help you make your decision when you find out some further information. But all in all, Leo, you have to decide. You have to make the decision. Nobody else can make it for you. Don't be pushed into any kind of decisions because this is your emotions. This is your heart. You know, you've got to make that decision whether you trust this person or not, whether you're ready to forgive them or not. And you don't have to make the decision straight away. It doesn't have to be made in May. Take your time. You know, this person's betrayed you. You don't owe them anything. You don't have to rush to give them an answer. You can keep them waiting. You can say, I'll give you an answer when I'm good and ready. Not when you want it. I'll give you it when I'm ready to give you it. It's you taking control, Leo. Let's see what we've got here. White Raven Spirit. Trusting in the magic. So, you know, it's trust in the magic of the universe, Leo. I know that you get given these situations that are really, you know, they really hurt you, but they're life lessons and they're given to us because our soul needs to learn a lesson. And sometimes afterwards, when we've gone through a really bad experience, we look back, we've realised we've learned something from it. So trust the universe that even though it's given you a bad situation, it's given you this for your soul purpose, for your soul to learn and grow and evolve. And then you will learn a lesson from it. And it's up to you whether you stay with this person, you know, whether you keep them in your life or whether you leave them, you know, because again, it's, it's up to you whether you forgive them or not. But just trust that the universe has your back. Take your time. Take your time. Make the decision when you're ready. Don't be forced. And you will find the answer. Trust that you will find the answer when you're ready. Well, Leo, you know, I hope uh, you have a wonderful May. I know it's by looking at these cards, it looks a very difficult month for you. Just remember, don't be pushed into a decision that you feel uncomfortable with. Take your time. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again next month.